In my previous video, you have seen how to get a log files. In this video, I will show you how to sequence the log files using Commonwealth GX Tail Utility. First, let's go to the place where the log files are. I'll extract the log files. I'll extract the client log files. Home server. Media agent. We only need these three directories. So I'll delete all of these. Now we have extracted the log files. Now let's go to Commvault GX Tail Utility. It's in base folder. Launch Commvault GX Tail. You can open the log files. They are located in C program files, com walls in Pana, and then log files. This is the location. And then you can open whichever log file you want. For example, I will pick job manager. Now, this is the job manager log. If you see the log files are moving and you are unable to read, you can use this option work offline, enable it, then it will pause it and then you can move around these logs up and down and read them once you are done if you want to see the continuation you can disable this option to work offline this is for example you are at the top the middle and you want to go to the end just hit this button and it will take you to the end of the log file now, to sequence the log files Go to tools, log file sequencer, put in the job ID and then select the location where the log files are. Browse, just over here, select that one, click OK, hit the plus button to add and then click OK. Log file sequencer process will start for job ID 1 taking the logs from this location and click OK. If you see it's giving an error saying fail to create process log file sequencer for this job because it's saying error number 2. That means it's unable to find the log sequencer.exe process from the base folder. So if we go to base folder and look for log sequencer there is no log sequencer. That is the reason we are receiving this error. Click OK. Close this window. Now, the log sequencer process is located in the base32 folder here. But in this folder, you don't have GXTail utility. So go to Simpana base folder. Copy GX tail copy and then go to base 32 and paste here. So we have GX tail and the log sequence of process. Open GX tail go to tools log file sequencer put in the job id you can also put the process id and thread id if you know and you can use these options visible for you and then input file directory add it and click ok and log file sequencer for job one and the logs located at this location click ok now the process has launched and you see in the background that it's started sequencing logs as per the time we wait until the log sequence 
finish sometimes it finished sooner sometimes it takes long time depending upon how big the job was how long it took to complete our log files are sequenced so this is the end of the line but if you go a little down you will see the summary saying pending causes form for job id so these are the pending causes for the job id one and if you see this is the time and it was first reported pending cause because of this error and two more sequences one at this time and another at this time so to know what exactly happened during this time and select this copy it edit find paste search up find next here we are uh, this is when it reported so i'll put a highlighter a marker in this location so i can come back and i believe this is the process id and uh, thread id this is the 2420 is the process id and the thread id is cdc so if you know exactly the process id and the thread id you can use them here and sequence accordingly but for me i go with the job id for now now this is the time it reported the failure has occurred and if i scroll up most of the errors are highlighted in yellow so it's giving me a reason why it happened so i'll put a marker so i can come back i can scroll a little up and see when exactly it started what happened and i can put a marker so i can come back now to go uh, from one marker to other you can use this option next previous you can clear the mark as well so i'll go again at the end and i'll select this copy edit find remove paste search up and find next so this is the second occurrence with a marker and then I can scroll up and down and see what exactly happened if the logs right, you need to scroll to the right to see the complete content but if you want to see in the page you can use the option word wrap that is there in edit word wrap here we go now I select the marker and see what exactly happened and I can read the logs and find out the cause and find a solution for it if I want to clear on the marker I can just click on this option clear all are gone there are a lot of options here which you can you can go through I use one more uh, option which is good is error lookup so if you know the error code pertaining to the operating system you can look up uh, for the reason for the error code for example in Windows error code could 2 let's say lookup it gives me the message and say 5 access is denied so I can also pick up Solaris, Linux, AX, even Galaxy. If you know the error code that's displayed in the uh, logs related to Galaxy, you can put this, put the error code here and you can look up for it.
and if you think the error code is hexadecimal you can enable that option and you can do the lookup these are the options you can go through all of them it's a very useful tool uh, to sequence the logs and read what exactly happened when happened you can also open the windows logs say i'll go to the client system info and extract it and then here they are uh, let me pull up the application log i can drag and drop here so i don't need to log on to windows what exactly has happened but i can use this utility as well edit one wrap and say okay this is the time who is the source all that information that is it thanks for watching the video good luck